Hey everyone, sit back, relax, and I'll walk you through my first 30 day challenge that I ever did. A few years ago, I took on my very first 30 day challenge to get 10,000 steps a day. I started by getting myself a Fitbit, which you'll notice I'm not wearing right now, so do with that what you will. But I got myself this Fitbit and a new pair of shoes because you got to protect those knees and I just started going for it. Uh, to be honest, for the most part, this one was surprisingly easy. Granted, I live a pretty happy, privileged life. I don't spend all day commuting to an office where I'm sedentary and then just go home exhausted or something like that. So my schedule tends to be really open and flexible. So if I need to go out and walk, uh, it's not hard to go out and walk. And it felt great to do this, honestly. It just, movement felt so much better than staying still. Even on days when I was tired, I found that getting out and walking oftentimes energized me more than just kind of laying back and resting would. Obviously there's a time and a place for both, but I was finding in my life that there was a lot more opportunity for movement than I'd realized. And I started finding it in other creative ways, like, oh, I'm gonna go play basketball or, you know, see how many steps I get on my rollerblades. You, you don't get many, it turns out, <laughs> long strides. But, you know, just finding other ways to be active and be moving. And when I had friends and family who knew that I was doing this, it was a bit contagious. They, they would wanna jump in, they'd wanna maybe join me for a walk or join me for an activity. And, you know, that was really exciting to see as well. On the whole, I'd say probably about maybe an hour, hour and a half of extra walking is what it took to get me to 10,000 steps. You do get those incidental steps, just you know, getting up and going to the kitchen or the bathroom, but you don't get as many as you think. If you're really not making an effort to move, you might be getting two, three, 4,000 steps a day at the most. So 10,000 is not difficult, but it does take a little bit of a concerted effort. I found that I really love walking while listening to audiobooks. I kind of feel like I'm adventuring right along with the characters. So that was one of the go-tos. Another was what I call mindful walking, especially in the evenings. I would just pretend that, you know, even if I was walking my typical trail, that I'd never been on it before. I didn't know what I was gonna see, but I just kind of go into that um, almost animalistic mode where I'm just paying attention to every sight, sound, smell, etc., And that can be really satisfying as well. Of course, there's walking and talking on the phone. There's, there's many ways to walk. Um, there's strolling <laughs> and, and all of them were great. So this is the challenge that I highly recommend. I give it a 10 out of 10. I said that, you know, I'm not wearing a Fitbit now. I just found that at some point I don't really need to track my steps and it's not super helpful to obsess over them. There's lots of ways to be fit. There's lots of ways to be happy. Not all of them involve steps. You might do your daily yoga and be like, wow, okay, there was five steps, <laughs> right? But it was still great. It's still wonderful that you did it. And of course, any of these extrinsic type goals, at some point you wanna make it intrinsic. So it's not, oh, I gotta get my steps. It's just, I enjoy walking now and walking is such a, a regular part of my routine now that I don't think twice about it. Uh, I just do it because I like it. And that's obviously the goal. And that's what's so cool about 30 day challenges is you can take something that you're not doing and 30 days later, it's something that you're still doing. And it's something, like I said, I'm still doing a lot of. I also got myself a treadmill desk. So when I find myself stuck at the computer, especially, you know, in the winter months, I can still get some movement while, you know, I'm, I'm meeting somebody on Zoom or doing things like that. And I found that to be incredibly cool and valuable as well. So steps are a big part of my life. Ever since I took on this challenge, I highly recommend that you give it a try as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what 30 day challenges you've taken on and you know what your 10,000 step routine looks like if you've got one. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.